At Leviton, we take safety seriously. We'd like to point out an inconsistency in UL requirements for circuit breakers and receptacles with GFCI technology. GFCI end of life is defined by UL as when a GFCI is incapable of providing ground fault protection and passing its internal test function. UL 943 self-test GFCI end of life standard states that when a self-test GFCI reaches end of life, it must either deny power with inability to reset, give a visual or audible indication, or trip with resetability, subject to the next test cycle or repeat tripping. But did you know circuit breakers with GFCI technology are exempt from two of this section's requirements? These exceptions pertain specifically to silicon controlled rectifiers, SCR, and solenoids, two components common to all tripping mechanisms in both receptacles and circuit breakers with GFCI technology. Failure of either of these components may allow the circuit breaker to remain energized. So what does this mean to the end user? If a circuit breaker with GFCI technology reaches end of life and no longer provides ground fault protection as a result of SCR or solenoid failure, it can still be reset and continue to provide unprotected power with no indication required to the end user. We'll demonstrate this today by simulating end of life events in three devices. A GFCI circuit breaker from competitor one a dual-function AFCI-GFCI circuit breaker from competitor 2, and a Leviton SmartLock Pro self-test GFCI. This switch represents the device's solenoid. This is the component that is required to trip the device once a fault is detected and is common to both circuit breakers and receptacles with GFCI technology. We will simulate solenoid failure by pulling the solenoid switch on each device. Alternatively, we could have chosen to demonstrate SCR failure, and the outcome would have been the same. We'll begin by testing and resetting the GFCI under normal operation. Under normal operation, the GFCI may be tested and reset to provide protected power. But what happens if a solenoid fails? Let's simulate solenoid failure by flipping this switch. If we attempt to reset the GFCI receptacle, it will not function because the solenoid has failed. This red indicator light shows a failure has occurred and the user is locked out of operation, helping to ensure the only power the GFCI receptacle can provide is protected power when the solenoid is functioning properly. Now, let's demonstrate what happens with Competitor 1's GFCI circuit breaker. Again, the solenoid component is represented here with a switch attached to the device. The solenoid is currently set to function properly. As you can see, we're able to test and reset the circuit breaker without issue. Pressing the test button confirms the device's ability to respond to a ground fault is intact. Now we'll simulate solenoid failure by flipping this switch. Initially, once the solenoid fails, nothing happens and no indication is given. But what happens when we test the device? Nothing, demonstrating the device is incapable of responding to a ground fault. Let's move on to Competitor 2's dual function AFCI GFCI circuit breaker. When the solenoid is functioning properly, the device can be tested and reset normally. But once we simulate solenoid failure, both ground and arc fault protection are compromised. The device is still able to provide power and only functions as a normal circuit breaker without providing GFCI or AFCI protection. In this demonstration, we've shared two variations of competitor circuit breakers. Both feature GFCI protection and one provided additional arc fault protection. In the example of the dual function AFCI GFCI circuit breaker, just as ground fault protection was compromised, arc fault protection was lost as well. As you can see, our demonstration illustrates that you can provide more complete protection against ground faults in your home by using a Leviton SmartLock Pro self-test GFCI over a circuit breaker with GFCI technology.